Joining me now is Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Senator, now they said inflation was transitory. They said Russia's economy would crumble under the sanctions. Of course, China did the big backdoor bailout, buying their oil, their ag. Other countries followed suit. You know, we could go on and on with their failed predictions. Have they gotten anything right here? No, they haven't, Laura, but I do. I will tell, tell you this. They are getting what they wanted in an ultimate sense, which is they want to remake our economy. Joe Biden wants to remake our economy such that we don't have any more blue collar work in this country. We don't have jobs for working people. All of those folks have to depend on the government. And all we have instead is this this climate green economy where you have to have a fancy degree, where you have to get a white collar job in a big city. And if you want to live in the middle of the country, there are no jobs for you. That's what they want. They don't like blue collar workers. They don't like blue collar culture. And so they're trying to wipe it out by changing our economy. And Laura, they are succeeding. We have got to stop them. Yeah. And despite all of this, everything we just laid out, Biden today pretends to be the great protector, Senator Hawley, of the middle class. Watch. When I ran for president, I agreed that we're going to build from the bottom up and the middle out to bring back good-paying jobs you can raise a family on, whether or not you went to college, to give families more breathing room, to invest in ourselves again, invest in America again. And that's what we've done. That's what we do we've done, Senator. People are now spending more than they're making because wages are not keeping up with prices. That's as obvious as, uh, you know, Biden's cognitive decline at this point. Yeah, what he's doing is just the opposite of his rhetoric. The rhetoric is a cover for his real agenda, Laura, which is to hollow out the middle class and the working class in this country. And the reason for that is he doesn't like the culture of blue collar workers. He doesn't like their attachment to faith. He doesn't like their attachment to family. He doesn't like their attachment to church. He doesn't like any of that. The left, they think all, they think all of that's backwards. How do you get rid of it? You make it so that you can't get good paying jobs anymore if you're a blue collar worker. You can't sustain yourself in the working class. You have to be dependent on government, take orders from government. And meanwhile, the only people who flourish are the rich folks at the top who are giving money to the Democrat Party. That's their agenda. And if Republicans want to turn this country around, they've got to go after that and start protecting the people who are the backbone of this nation. And even with the relatively mild winter, although our friends in Wyoming are like 20 below zero right now wouldn't agree with me, but it's pretty, pretty mild in much of the country. More Americans are struggling to pay their energy bills. The number of households that are get, getting energy assistance this winter season rose an estimated 1.3 million to 6.2 million. That's the largest one-year increase since the disastrous year of 2009. Senator, is it not the case that the Biden regime's goal is to lower our standards, lower our expectations. This is the new American normal. No gas stoves, no cars that you want to drive, you know, bike lanes everywhere. I guess we're going to all become Beijing. That's it. That is it. That, that's the norm. They want us once again. They want working people to no longer be able to support themselves. Well, meanwhile, China gets rich. So are we producing energy jobs in this country? Not under Joe Biden. Are we producing our own energy in this country? I mean, here we're, we're the most energy rich country in the world. Are we producing it? No, not under Joe Biden. Who's getting rich off of that? China is. So our blue collar class suffers. The Chinese Communist Party gets rich. That's Joe Biden's agenda. Uh, Senator, great to see you tonight. Thank you.